Today on the Chad Slego Show, coaching you to and through retirement, we are going to discuss the two positives that have come out of COVID-19. In our Coach's Corner, we're going to discuss how taxes can impact your retirement, especially with what is going on in today's economy and today's markets. And on our Chalk Talk segment today, we are going to discuss some important conversion strategies that could help benefit you and your family in retirement. So sit back, relax, and learn. The Chad Slegel Show starts now. I'm Chad Slegel. I believe financial planning is about educating people and empowering them to make better decisions with their hard-earned dollars. Coaching gives me satisfaction from watching a player succeed and get better. You need an experienced team around you. The best coaches have great assistant coaches. I have brought a lot of the techniques and structure I learned from playing and coaching football and apply them to the world of investing. My goal now is to coach as many individuals and families as I can on how to get successfully to and through retirement. Welcome in to the Chad Slegel Show, coaching you to and through retirement. I'm the coach, Chad Slegel, here with my colleague, Chad Tobin. And today on the clipboard segment, we are going to discuss the two positives that have come out of COVID-19. The social distancing and the COVID-19 protocol has sent the markets, of course, into a tailspin. And of course, it's been a huge whirlwind of uncertainty for our country and, of course, in our own communities. Life as we know it has been turned upside down. You know, Chad, you can't even leave your house today. And when you do, you have to have a full body suit on. None of this we ever thought we would see in our lifetime or a time like this. However, I'm an optimist and I always look for the brighter side of things. You know, this is the first time that we've talked about, Chad, in a long time that your family, my family, and I have sat down every night for a family dinner. Just a month ago, we would be lucky to have one night a week where we could do that because of all the ball games, practices, school activities, and of course, work. You know, we have game nights and movie nights all the time. So this pandemic, unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, has brought our family a lot closer together, and I hope it's done the same for you. And when it comes to your monies and the stock market today, it's easy to look at all the negatives. You know, a lot of your IRA or 401k balances have lost almost three years worth of market gains, and that's not good. However, there are two positives that you can take away from these losses. Number one, now hopefully you realize it's more important than ever to build a game plan for your retirement. And now is the best time in history, Chad, to do a Roth IRA conversion. Yeah, and I think, you know, out there, what we see is many people, uh, they haven't really considered this Roth conversion. Um, number one, for, you know, converting these traditional IRA monies to a Roth and, and paying the taxes now. That's a big tax burden that a lot of times people just can't stomach. Um, and number two, really just understanding, you know, the benefits long term of doing this conversion, whether it's this year or sp stretching it out over a few years to really have that long-term tax-free benefit. And I think one of the biggest concerns that we see in talking with uh, people over the past two to three weeks, everybody is frozen. They don't know what to do. Should I get out of the market? Should I get into the market? Should I set in cash? What if I want to get back some of those returns? And I think what you have to do in a time like this, you have to have an open mind and you have to look at the opportunities in front of you with the market being down. Even though you may have lost 20 to 30 percent, is now a good time maybe to do a Roth conversion to take advantage actually of some of these losses. So when it comes back, you're going to have a tax-free gain on that money. And that's one thing that we're going to talk about. And again, we're going to reiterate how important it is to have a plan today. Yeah. And I think whether you know, we were talking and doing the shows when the market was roaring and everything was good. We were still talking about be proactive, build the game plan. And now, even when the markets are down and, it, and it's a tough time, but now how can we take advantage of some of these areas where uh, 20, 30 percent losses make sense to get it over in a tax free uh, environment to ride those gains back up? You know, when we return on the Coach's Corner, we're going to discuss how taxes can impact your retirement, especially with what is going on to today's economy. We'll be right back. The number one concern of retirees today is outliving their hard-earned dollars. It is more important now than ever to educate and empower yourself to make better decisions with your money than it has taken you 30 to 40 years to accumulate. How do you do this? by using our financial GPS, our guided planning system. This is a four-step process to help get you successfully to and through retirement. The first step in this process is to create clarity. Here, we will help identify your goals as well as your concerns and identify what you want to accomplish in retirement. 
The second step, we will analyze the risk you're taking with your current portfolio, and the step will also identify exactly what you are paying in fees. In the third step, we will evaluate and assess your current plan and help identify the gap between the missing pieces. And in the fourth and final step, this is where we will work together to implement a plan of action to accomplish your retirement goals. And this process can take place at any one of our convenient locations in Missouri, at our Creve Coeur and Sunset Hills offices, or in Illinois at our Edwardsville, Springfield, and Jacksonville locations. So call now to get set up on the right path on your journey through retirement. Welcome back into the Chad Slagle Show, coaching you to and through retirement. We're back here, of course, with my colleague, Chad Tobin. And today on the Coach's Corner segment, we are going to discuss how taxes can impact your retirement, especially with what is going on in today's economy. Think about every time you look at your IRA or your 401k statements, and let's say you see a balance of 500,000 or maybe a million dollars, Chad. You're likely thinking that this money is all yours, right? Wrong. You probably see that amount and start thinking of ways that you can spend that money or use that money or how much income you can generate from it or what trips you might want to take with that money. But unfortunately, your account is not actually worth that 500000 or that million dollars that shows up on your statement. And that's because your 401k or IRA or your qualified accounts for that matter have a silent partner. And of course, that silent partner is Uncle Sam. Think of it like this, if you have 25,000, if you had a 25% tax liability, Uncle Sam owns 25% of your IRA. So for $500,000, you own 75% of that or only $375,000. So as you can see, this what they call the great American savings myth can get pre-retirees and retirees in a lot of trouble. When, when savers plan based on their IRA account values, they risk overestimating the amount of assets they actually have in your retirement or that they have in their retirement and that is why conversion strategies that we're going to talk about today are gaining popularity. And it can help you convert your tax deferred assets to assets with tax free growth. Chad, and we talk to people all the time, you know, that magic number for a lot of retirees today is that $1 million. Well, really, Bob and Mary, it's not $1 million. It may only be worth, say, $750,000 once you figure that tax liability in there. Yeah, and I think, you know, we got to look at where tax rates are now. I mean, tax rate or, or interest rates, interest rates are low and, and even tax rates um, for that matter are low and, and compared to what we think they're going to go to here in the next five to six years. So I think when we look at tax rates being low, interest rates being low, as these things do go up, how can we be proactive and build a game plan or take advantage of some strategies to eliminate those down the road? So we talk about tax liabilities and where they go from here. Let's talk about number one. Tax rates are likely to go up by 2026. Tax rates are pretty generous right now because of the tax cuts and the Jobs Act of 2017. In 2017, a married couple filing jointly with a taxable income of $326,000 was in the 33% tax bracket. Due to the 2017 Act, they are now in the 24% tax bracket, almost a 10% change. But that law expires. In other words, it's already baked in, Chad, to the current legislation. We're going to go back to what the rates were in 2017 come in 2026. You know, and a lot of people out there are, you know, thinking, well, six years from now, I'll deal with that, you know, six years from now. But, you know, what we found, whether you're raising your family or whether you're, you know, running a business, six years goes by really quick. And if you can do some little things each and every year from now through then, it can have a huge impact long term on your retirement. The next way that uh, taxes can impact your retirement is, of course, your RMDs, your required minimum distributions. You know, many of you out there think that the IRAs, 401ks, and other qualified accounts that you've saved money in is, as you're working are great vehicles because they are tax deferred and you don't have to pay tax on them. However, uh, they are allowing you to save tax on the seed. In other words, the IRS allows you to save tax on the seed so they can tax the crop. And what you have to understand, and a lot of people have the misconception, Chad, that, oh my gosh, when I turn 72 now with the new laws, I'm going to have to start drawing this money out. And unfortunately, it's all going to disappear. But there are some tax planning things you can do either on the front side or back side to be able to benefit you and your family. Yeah, and I think even with the recent pandemic and, and some of the changes with the stimulus plan that the government has included, you know, we'll get into here in a little bit later, but there are some other ways that we can avoid some of these RMDs as well. The other one, Chad, is the last way tax can impact your retirement is what was pretty much common sense. In other words, when we think about the stock market, if the stock market is at all time highs, which it was back in February, this means your account and investments probably are doing very well. 
Well, the more money you have, the more money, of course, you will pay in tax if it's qualified money. So after a market crash, however, it usually takes quite some time to recover. In other words, if you lose 30 to 40% of your money, it may take three, five, seven or eight years to get back to where you were. And it may be time to benefit you for some different tax strategies. In other words, if you, could, if you had a, a million dollar account and it's down to 750,000 and you wanted to convert that money over, you're gonna convert over 750. After three or four years though, if that money gets back to that million, that's a $250,000 tax-free gain that you made back on that money. Yeah, and I think, you know, you gotta look at these strategies. And I think, you know, a lot of these strategies that we're, we're getting into are, can be very beneficial. They're not gonna be right for everyone, obviously, but it's worth taking a look at. And, but you have to understand that you have to be working with somebody that can help educate you on these strategies that is doing this day in and day out with their clients, people just like you. And so they know a lot of the ins and the outs and that specialist, that retirement specialist that you can talk to. They have that trailblaze for you, if you will. To download our free white paper today about if you are paying too much in tax in retirement, visit www.slegofinancial.com backslash empower you. Coming up on our Chalk Talk segment today, we're going to discuss some important conversion strategies that could help benefit you and your family in retirement. We'll be right back. He's such an involved dad. He's always telling the kids stories. I remember when so-and-so said I couldn't do this or I didn't make this team. That's what, that's what drives him. In our family, we always tell our kids to stick up for each other, stand behind one another. He feels it's his role to provide, keep us safe, and to make sure that the kids are taken care of. A lot of Chad's clients have the same traditional values, and he bonds with them. Each family has a different set of circumstances and, and each, each family is unique and different. The common thread between all of Chad's clients is that they want the best for their family, just as he would our own family. Welcome back into the Chad Slego Show, coaching you to and through retirement. So we just discussed how taxes can impact your retirement. Now we're gonna discuss some important conversion strategies that can help benefit you and your family in retirement. And many of you probably heard of a Roth IRA conversion at some point. And right now, they're getting brought up more and more because as we talked about earlier, because of the environment that we're currently in. But you probably want to know why this may or may not be a good option for you. So we want to dive deeper into that Roth conversion, if it's a potential for you. But also we want to talk about another option called indexed universal life opportunities that can work like a Roth conversion, but has some additional benefits. So on Chalk Talk today, we're going to explain these strategies and how to make sure that you have a game plan that fits you and your family in retirement. Yeah, and I think it's so important because, you know, you have to understand everyone is, is different. Everyone's situation is different. So, you know, you've got to understand and educate yourself on each one of these different strategies we're going to talk about and then determine if, if it's right for you, if it's not right for you. But most importantly, take that first step and educate yourself. So the first one we're going to talk about is the uh, Roth IRA conversion strategy and exactly what that is. Roth IRA conversions is the moving of assets from a tax-deductible traditional IRA to a non-deductible Roth IRA. Participants in a Roth IRA don't pay income tax when they withdraw those funds in retirement because money deposited into a Roth IRA, when you draw it out, of course, is tax-free income. And the other thing, Chad, is your RMDs. One of the great advantages of Roth IRAs is that they are not subject to the same RMD rules. If you have a Roth IRA, you do not need to take those RMDs during your lifetime. So if you don't need the money, you can leave the funds untouched and let the account grow tax-free for decades if you want for your heirs, for your children, your grandchildren, whoever your beneficiaries may be, as opposed to having to draw those RMDs out and pay all those taxes before it's left to your beneficiaries. Yeah, and I know you know a lot of our clients, they, they've done everything right. They, they've maxed out those 401ks while they were working. They you know, maybe contributed to these IRAs all of a sudden, you know, prior to the, the rule that passed at 70 and a half, they had to start taking money out and they didn't need to, or now at 72, 
they are forced to take this required minimum distribution. And so, you know, a lot of retirees, a lot of our clients, they dread these RMDs. But, you know, with that Roth IRA, uh, you don't have to take the required minimum distributions and any distribution is tax free. It's huge. And we talk about taxes, Chad. We always make sure that we're working hand in hand with our CPAs. Or if you have your own CPAs, we work hand in hand with them as well, because you want to make sure that if you're doing this, you're doing it right. And it makes sense for you, because as we talked about earlier, it may or may not be right for you. The other thing is, why is now, why is it so popular that we hear more and more about this Roth conversion? And you have to convert, or you don't have to, but a good time to convert, of course, is when the market is low. Like we mentioned before, it is beneficial to convert to a Roth IRA while the market is low and you're qualified, our counts are down in value. If the market goes up after you make that conversion, now all that growth is tax-free income for you and your family. Yeah, and I think, you know, number one, we all love when, when the money in the market or when our accounts are growing. Uh, so that's a positive thing if we convert things while they're low and hopefully ride these markets back up. But number two, any income, any kind of distribution, assuming if you just started the Roth today, you've got to wait five years before you want to take those tax-free distributions. But in the future, any, any distributions that you do pull out are tax-free, which is another huge bonus. The other thing is, the other concern that you need to take into consideration is increased tax rates. As we said, they're already baked in to the current legislation. In 2026, rates are going back up. And as we mentioned earlier, tax rates are low right now because of the tax cuts and the job acts of 2017. So it will benefit you to convert that. And as we just talked about earlier, Chad, when we were showing you those numbers, a higher net worth individual, a higher earner, I mean, you're looking at a 10% increase in taxes, which is a lot of money in taxes that you could be saving on. Well, and just those two points alone, the markets are down uh, after this recent pandemic to be able to ride the markets back up. And, and what you just mentioned, uh, the tax cuts and in the next five to six years, you know, being in a lower tax bracket to get tax free income in the future is huge. So those two things alone are probably why it's such a good time to, to look into. And the last benefit that we want to talk about with a Roth IRA conversion is saving significantly in taxes over a long period of time. Although you'll be paying taxes up front on this conversion, it is taxable when you do that, you will save tremendously over a long period of time. And our firm has software that we use with our clients that shows you the exact numbers and how much it can impact you and save you in taxes over a long period of time. In other words, it's not a guessing game. If you do this and you do it right, it will show you how significantly you will save or how significantly amount of money, if you will, if I'm saying that right, how much you would actually save in taxes. And it's a lot of times, Chad, it's a huge number. Absolutely. And I mean, taxes are important to everyone. I think, um, you know, we knew two things were certain when it comes to life and it's death and also taxes. And so, you know, you just have to educate you on these strategies and what may or may not be right for you but really understand you know now's the time um, to try and take advantage of some opportunities uh, and put yourself in a better tax situation year in and year out for the long term another conversion or opportunity to save in taxes by taking advantage of IUL or index universal life you know ILU policies offer tax deferred cash accumulation for retirement while maintaining a death benefit so you get, number one, a legacy for loved ones. Just like any life insurance, this money will go tax-free to your beneficiaries. Number two, the power of indexing. In other words, by taking money from a qualified account and funding it in an IUL policy, you're reducing the change of market risk because now you're investing in indexes with a 0% floor. In other words, it can't go down. It can only go up. And number three, you have the tax-free retirement funds. You're not having to worry about the RMDs that we talked about. And there are ways you can draw income from these products without having to worry about paying taxes on that money you're putting in your pocket. Yeah, and I think, you know, this is something that just, again, going, understanding how it works. There's another benefit we just didn't even mention, but maybe having some kind of long-term care protection inside there that you didn't have inside that IRA or pre-tax uh, dollars as well. So, you know, this is another strategy that we see taking some money out of a taxable place, leveraging it, maybe to, to be two, three, four times the value from day one and giving you added benefits. And of course, the last huge benefit is what I was trying to say earlier, save significantly in taxes over time. Just like with the Roth IRA conversion, you can save a tremendous amount of money in taxes over a long period of time. 
And as we mentioned earlier, we have software that will show you these numbers, just like with a Roth IRA conversion, we can do the same thing with the IUL. Yeah, just, uh, you know, both of these strategies, the conversion and the IUL play, uh, more of that legacy play, these are two strategies to really educate yourself now uh, as timing right now with uh, the markets being down and taxes set to rise in the future, uh, timing's about as good as it can be. Timing is good, two things you can take advantage of and really build into that game plan that we talked about earlier. To download our free white paper today about if you are paying too much in taxes in retirement, visit www.slegalfinancial.com backslash empower you. We come back on our strategy play. We're gonna discuss whether you should consider paying taxes now or later by showing you how a conversion option works. We'll be right back. The number one concern of retirees today is outliving their hard-earned dollars. It is more important now than ever to educate and empower yourself to make better decisions with your money than it has taken you 30 to 40 years to accumulate. How do you do this? By using our financial GPS, our guided planning system. This is a four-step process to help get you successfully to and through retirement. The first step in this process is to create clarity. Here we will help identify your goals as well as your concerns and identify what you want to accomplish in retirement. The second step, we will analyze the risk you're taking with your current portfolio and this step will also identify exactly what you are paying in fees. In the third step, we will evaluate and assess your current plan and help identify the gap between the missing pieces. And in the fourth and final step, this is where we will work together to implement a plan of action to accomplish your retirement goals. And this process can take place at any one of our convenient locations in Missouri, at our Creve Coeur and Sunset Hills offices, or in Illinois at our Edwardsville, Springfield, and Jacksonville locations. So call now to get set up on the right path on your journey through retirement. Welcome back to the Chad Slegel Show, coaching you to and through retirement. On this week's strategy play, we're gonna discuss whether you should consider paying taxes now or later by showing you how a conversion option works. And the thing is, Chad, what we talk about now is you can pay the taxes now or you can pay them later. And as we talked about before, these are a couple really opportunities for you if you're retired or thinking about retiring in the next few years that you might wanna consider taking uh, uh, this opportunity and taking advantage of, of those things that are going on right now. Yeah, and I think number one, let's take a look at the conversion. Uh, an example of the Roth conversion. Now, we're not talking about selling things out of your IRA um, and, and because where these markets are Or down, locking in losses, locking right? In losses. right? So if we've got your traditional IRA, and these are, let's for example, four different holdings, individual stocks, companies, that maybe some are down 20%, some of them may be down 50% at this point. To make that conversion, you're going to convert these stocks in kind where you pay the taxes now, the year 2020, but you're going to bring these same stocks over in kind, not selling anything at these lower levels. Hopefully you're in good companies. These companies are going to bounce back. We're going to ride it out and ride those gains up in a tax-free manner. Whether it's in mutual fund stocks, again, you're not selling those. You're bringing everything over in kind. And now when you have companies right now, Chad, that are, you know, are down 30 to 40%, if they come back just to where they were, that's all a tax-free gain for you. So that's something you definitely want to take advantage of if it makes sense for you. And the other thing we want to talk about, Chad, is legacy planning. A lot of times we run into individuals and, and uh, married couples, you have IRAs, you have qualified accounts that you've built up through work and you have a good income, so you really don't need this money. However, as we talked about earlier, the IRS is going to make you start drawing that money out when you turn age 72. So how can you take this pile of money that you've worked all your life for that you really don't need that you're going to have to pay taxes on and move it over here to a tax-free benefit for your beneficiaries? And oh, by the way, Chad, there's different tools that you can use here and maybe you could even use that money for long-term care as well. Yeah, and I think it's important. You know, we, we talk about taking that annual distribution and in this strategy, we often see, you know, instead of doing it in one year, um, we're maybe going over a five or a 10 year period where we're gonna strategically do that each and every year where every annual distribution you're gonna pay taxes on. However, we're leveraging that dollar 
into a tax-free benefit that sometimes is leveraged two, three, four, five times the value from day one that also has additional benefits. So that way, Chad, doing a little bit at a time, you really keep that tax, those taxes low so it doesn't bump you into a higher tax bracket. But the biggest thing, it allows you to take this pile of money where if you live long enough, the IRS is going to make you draw all that money out. How can you take that money and pass it on tax-free to your beneficiaries in the most tax-efficient manner? Yeah, and I think, you know, these are the two strategies we talked about in the show. Number, number one, taking advantage of a down market and putting uh, monies that you don't have to draw from, leaving more tax-free benefit for you, your spouse, or your loved ones when you walk out on life. And number two, doing the same thing, paying taxes now, leveraging that dollar to really be able to leave more legacy tax-free uh, without Uncle Sam being that silent partner uh, in the plan. So you do have options. There are positives that have come out of this COVID-219 and this crisis that we're having right now. Do you have a large sum of money sitting in the market in an IRA or a 401k or maybe another qualified account? Do you need help determining if a Roth IRA conversion or a legacy planning opportunity makes sense for you? If so, we encourage you to give us a call today and that's this week's Strategy Play. If you have questions about today's show or if you would like for us to discuss a new topic, email us at askchat at slegelfinancial.com to have your questions answered on the show. We'll be right back with some of the key takeaways from today. Your host and coach, Chad Slegel, and join me with you guys in just a few minutes. When it comes to your health, your life, your family, your home, and your hard-earned dollars, of course you want to make sure you're working with that sharp, energetic, knowledgeable individual that is always looking out for your best interest. It's time to get your financial house in order. This is the new age of retirement planning. In the Wall Street world, that's what they talk about. you got to have Come back into the Chad Slagle Show, coaching you to A and through retirement. We are Slagle Financial. Call now, 888-294-9248. Welcome back to the Chad Slegel Show, coaching you to and through retirement. We've covered a lot today, so let's jump in and talk about three or four things that you want to take away from today's show. Number one, as I mentioned earlier, understand that positives can come out of any crisis. Number two, know the benefits of doing a Roth conversion and why it may or may not be right for you. And number three, Chad, understand the legacy planning opportunities that could benefit you and your loved ones for many, many years to come. Yeah, and I think, you know, we're all in this together. It's been tough times for quite a while. We're going to get through this as we go. We talk about the crisis. There's some silver lining things to be able now, while everybody's at home, you have some time to be looking at educating yourself and being able to take advantage of. But the key is, Chad, to take advantage of that, those silver linings, if you will, you have to educate yourself. And to educate yourself, to download our free white paper today about if you are paying too much in taxes in retirement, visit www.slegofinancial.com backslash empower you. Slegal Financial and our team of advisors have ed educational events coming up in your area in the form of a webinar to make sure you are prepared for today's retirement. For more information and to sign up for one of those events, call 888-294-9248 or visit chadslegoshow.com. Remember folks, success is waking up in the morning, whoever you are, wherever you are, no matter how old or young you are, and bounding out of bed because there's something out there that you love to do, that you believe in, that you're good at, and you can hardly wait to get at it again today. At Slego Financial, realize that this is bigger than our team. It's about educating you, the public, and our wonderful clients and empowering you to make better decisions with your hard-earned dollars. For my colleague, Chad Tobin, this is the coach, Chad Slego. Thank you very much for joining us. We look forward to visiting with each and every one of you next week.